Howdy everybody, here we are again with another unboxing video and spoilies, it is just an unboxing video, much to everybody's dismay. A review will be coming soon, let's start off with that. Today. Yeah, we have, uh, I mean, we, we love doing unboxing videos, some people don't like it, but actually we, we love watching and um, I want to know what comes in the box. Unboxing videos, so and it's also, fun. It shows you how large it is compared to, you know, people. So if you've met us in real life, you're just like, ah, that, that, that tracks. So today we have the ZW AM3. So not the AM5, the AM3, which is a smaller version of the AM5, which is very, very popular right now. So we are very excited to um, unbox and see what's in there. And once again, we'll do a full review video of this mount soon. So let's go to the unboxing and uh, see if there's anything Surprising in there or not. I doubt it, but we'll see. So here is the box. Let's go ahead and open that and see what's inside. We have a handle here. I think I first have to... I mean, already it feels compact and cute. This is the carrying case, wow. So we have the um, manual here with uh, some graphs so you can look at uh, what, how the mount was tested. And now let's take the case out. Okay. And let's open this case. ZW AM3. Wow, what is this? It looks so crazy cool. It's a different case than the AM5. This looks almost like 3D printed. It, yeah, it does look 3D printed. It feels like, it looks like styrofoam, but it's a lot more sturdy and thick. So we'll open the case here. I mean, I think the AM5 case is a bit more uh, it's all, it's friendly, but this is fine. So this is pretty much the same as the M5, right? I mean, we have the handle here, mm -hmm. same size, the same handle. We have a USB uh, 2 cable for the mount to your PC or ASI Air. We also have this cable for the hand controller, same as the M5. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a key in case you need that for um, some of the uh, screws here. And lastly, we have the mount. So what really interests me is to know if... Hi, Chester. Uh, can you refill me? We're a little busy right now. So what I want to know is, does the mount... I mean, how small is this mount compared to the M5? So let's take it out. Okay. Oh, it does feel much smaller. That's crazy cool. All right, so let's see here. It's Chester, clearly can you smaller please leave? than a cat. Can you leave? <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Just Goodbye, Chesty, my bestie. Bye. Yeah, so here is the AM3. As you can see, it is slightly smaller than the AM5. We'll have to compare both uh, side by side for yeah. the full review video. Uh, but at first glance, yeah, it feels smaller, of course, at the whole point, and uh, slightly lighter. We still have a spot for the counterweight bar here. So it goes here, and the same ports right there. This looks a bit smaller on top and the um, polar alignment uh, knobs are all the same. So like this and like this. It's so cool. It's still got a bit of heft to it. So don't worry if you're like, how lightweight is it? Is it too lightweight? It's, it's still got some, it's still got some in it. <laughs> it's, it's hefty enough. Okay, so in the box came the manual, the mount itself, the hand controller, USB 2 cable, the Allen wrench. Allen wrench and the hand controller cable as well here. Plus, of course, the carrying case. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison between the two mounts. So the AM5 and the AM3. So of course you can see the AM3 is smaller. And it has a few differences. So let's start with this side here. On the AM5 you have a 12 volt, 3 amp. Uh, port, which you don't find on the AM3. You also have this, um, well, this was supposed to be the ASI Air uh, slot here for the AM5. They took it off for the AM3. I think it's because here it's not really safe to have the ASI Air. So now there's no way to put the ASI Air here, which will make sure you don't have any accident uh, while screwing around. So this is not a big deal. So on this side, of course, everything is smooth. So here we have the uh, same knob on each side to unlock the polar axis to go up and down on the mount here. Uh, and then on the bottom here, we don't have this locking knob anymore. 
usually you unlock this one a bit so you can uh, turn the mount left and right. On the M3 here, you won't have that. On the top, it's the same thing, just a shoulder space here for the dovetails. Now, if we turn the mount and look at the back, here we have the same knobs, all the same. We have a nice addition on this side, which shows the degrees when polar lining, which might be useful. Well, they actually were on the sides here on the M5, but now on the M3, they're on this side. And uh, everything else is the same. Oh, I noticed there is no bubble level. There is two bubble levels on the M5, none on the M3. If we turn again, on this side we have smooth plates with the power button, same thing. Same knob here, just they just removed the logos and the degrees. And like I said earlier, there is no uh, locking knob anymore on the M3 here. The rest seems to be the same. I'm not sure why those two screws are not here. Uh, there is slots for them, but I'm not sure why there's no screws. On the front, it's exactly the same thing, uh, besides one difference, which is here, there's two holes here. Here, there's no holes. I have never used these holes, so I'm guessing uh, I won't care too much, but maybe there was a way to attach something here, which I never noticed, uh, but there's none here. Uh, same logo, same ports, and uh, same counterweight slot here and that's it for the differences so am5 am3 so there you have it that was as expected very very quick and simple the same as the am5 which is of course what's expected right so here is the mount one last time and uh, we will soon make a full review video about this we'll try to see if it works just as well as the am5 but this is great and exciting um, as a more affordable way to have a mount for your telescope or even a DSLR camera, which is uh, great. So we'll do a review video and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks guys. guys.